What's up, guys? Never start the video with what's up, guys. Never give Willie the satisfaction. Never do it. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today, the sun's on my eyes. I'm Joshua Bardwell, don't be backlit. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. In fact, we're all gonna learn something today because today is gonna be my very first flight on a 6S freestyle rig. I've flown 6S low KV race rigs before and they flew great, but race rigs kind of always fly great, don't they? What about freestyle? So this is, I'll, the GoPro is on the quad, so I can't show it to you, but it is an Armitan Rooster, one of my favorite freestyle frames right now. It's got the Emax RS series 2206, 20, uh, 1900 KV motors. So it's a little high KV and I got one of these new it's a new 6S battery from Catalyst, and it's got a unicorn peeing on that, which, okay, it's kind of cool, but it's also kind of gross. Let's fly this quad, okay. For those of you with very short attention spans, I am going to do the worst thing you can do in a YouTube video, and that is I'm going to give you the conclusion of this video early so it, you can get some value out of it even if you tune out in the next two minutes it's a longer video than some of you prefer i know uh don't worry this pack doesn't count because the battery wasn't fully charged and i fly another one with a fully charged pack and run a stopwatch and all that stuff you'll see that in just a minute the conclusion that i come to at the end of this video is that the number one the difference between 6s and 4s is not night and day in terms of flight time or speed, at least when you're working with low KV motors like 1750 or 1700 KV. The performance is pretty similar. The big difference is in the consistency of the pack, uh, for, especially as you get into the last, let's say, one third of the pack. You know how at the end of a 4S pack, if you really jam the throttle, the voltage just sags out and you copter kind of just drops out of the air, you crash into the ground, or you get, the throttle gets really unpredictable at the end of a 4S pack if you're really pushing it. On these 6S packs, I intentionally, you'll see me do this in the next flight, go full throttle toward, at the end of the pack, and unfortunately, I accidentally deleted the DVR, so I can't show you this, but take my word for it. The voltage sags. In fact, in the next flight, I go below 3.0 volts per cell. I basically just ruin the battery. Sorry, Catalyst Machine Works. And the copter is still flying just fine. Something about that higher voltage seems to make the, the battery more consistent, especially toward the end of the pack. So the difference in flight time, I do think I got a little more flight time, but it's the difference of 10 or 15 seconds. It's like flying for three minutes and 40 seconds instead of three minutes and 20 seconds. It's not really something that most people are gonna care so much about. Racers who have to get so many laps, that extra 20 seconds might make the difference. But at least as far as, you know, it seems to me right now with the, with the number of packs I have under my belt and the experience I have, it seems like the big advantage of 6S is the consistency. And so then, should you care? Should you be running out to buy success? Well, uh, I think for the average pilot, maybe it's not worth it. Maybe it's not worth the extra expense. The batteries are still a little more expensive. The components are actually not that much. You can get reasonably priced success capable ESCs and motors. Uh, but the, I think the big difference is that the batteries are still a little more expensive. So I would say if you don't need that extra, say, 20 seconds of flight time, if you don't need that extra consistency at the end of the pack, maybe the, the, the case is not there. On the other hand, it is really nice to be able to just run the packs and not think so much at the end, especially at the, like when I fly freestyle and I'm trying to get a song and I need to get to a certain point in the song on a single pack, as I get to the end of the battery, I really kind of lay back and just do some light flowy stuff. And I don't have that reserve to do really aggressive stuff with 6S you do. But the flip side is that if you push the battery, you can destroy it. And if you're not watching your OSD, you won't even know. Anyway, now that I've told you where I'm gonna end up, let's see how I got there. Well guys, I've been reviewing the HD footage from the last flights and I gotta tell you, it's a little rough. Um, there's a lot of sort of vibration, isn't there? And I mean, these are brand, I put new props on just to be sure, but it doesn't look like a tuning issue. It just looks like there's kind of vibration and jello. Is this endemic to 6S? Is it the motors? I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna do one more flight and I'm gonna check the footage. 
And if we still have vibration problems, I actually got another set of motors I'm kind of dying to try. So um, maybe we'll do that. See, this is testing my theory about 6S low KV because that battery, I flew it until, I just said, I'm gonna fly it until it starts to sag, until I feel it sag out. And you can see, even by the end of the flight, when I was doing full throttle punches, it was pretty freaking responsive. It did not have that mushy throttle falling out of the sky feeling. But at the end of the flight, the battery was at 17.6, okay? I killed it. 17.6, three times six is 18. That's below three volts per cell. That is, I definitely damaged this battery. One of the cells dropped out. We'll check it when we get back in on the meter. But it was just, hey, I'm good, right up until the moment where it wasn't. And if I had to guess one thing that makes 6S low KV superior, it's that there's something about the 6S low KV system that lets it continue to perform without sagging further into the battery. It's not that the batteries are delivering more, it's that you're taking more out of them. And I don't know what that is. This is the motor we're gonna try next. 
This is the Brother Hobby 2207-1750KV, and I am... Well, when I first saw those Emax motors, I was kind of curious. They were 2206, and they were 1900KV, and it just didn't feel like it was right for this quad. It might be right for a lighter quad. Anyway, this is pretty close to a four cell 24-ish 100 kV motor 2207 size. That is just about the perfect freestyle motor. So let's see how they do on success. And they kind of, they don't look bad either, do they? Let's see how it flies on success. Yeah. Okay, so there you go, people. Uh, I fly quads just like this on 4S all the freaking time. This is the, the final straw for me that there is something to 6S low KV. I've flown race quads, but I had no, no uh, basis for comparison because I don't fly those quads all day. This is a rooster. Uh, it's the same freestyle quad I fly all the time. The only difference is that it's got these motors and this battery. And this is the 1050 milliamp hour battery. So it's the same 
weight, watt hours, power, etc. as a 1554 cell. And I can't believe how long I was in the air. And I was carefully not sagging it down to 20 volts, trying not to kill it. And it flew with, we'll see what the, the weight is. I can't believe how long I was in the air and it's not like I was holding back, guys. It's not like I was holding back. Did that look like I was laying back, going easy? I don't know. Let's see what the battery's at. 21 divided by six times four. That's an equivalent of 14.7. No, that's right where, that's, uh, when, I, that's right about where, if I'm kind of pushing a pack, trying to maybe get a, you know, a four minute song or something, that's right about where I end up. So, is it the same? It felt like I was flying longer. Is it just my imagination? Did I break four minutes? I'll check the DVR. Ah. It just didn't have any sag though, that's the thing. Like those full throttle punches toward the end just didn't have any sag. Didn't feel any sag. I don't, it didn't, I didn't, I mean, the, you could see the voltage sagging, but it didn't feel to the throttle stick like there was sag. I don't know. There you go. That's gonna do it for this video. Bye.